Hi everybody, Conrad here from albertagardener.com. Just wanted to give you a quick greenhouse tour to let you know how things have been growing in there all season. And, uh, oh, I also wanted to say that I got this greenhouse design from Texas Prepper 2 on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel below in the description. Check him out, he's got some great videos and uh, great greenhouse plans, obviously, as you'll see in a minute. Okay, so let's get on with the tour. Uh, here's the front door. You can see the, nice, the flashing that holds on the... Uh, plastic there. Here is a pecan strawberry. They're supposed to be hardy in zone 3, but I never have any luck with them, hopefully this year. Uh, here is the intruder pepper, bell pepper. It's really good. It's, we've got a few off there, that, even though it's a small plant. Uh, we got the tiny Tim tomatoes here. They've been producing like crazy. I haven't actually got any tomatoes off yet, but any day now should be. Both plants doing great. Here are the radishes I planted for the fall garden. They've come up more since yesterday, since I took the picture. And this little chili grande here, I've probably got 15 to 20 peppers off of it. It's doing great. I don't know why it's so small. It's not root-bound. I checked, but hey, as long as it produces, what do I care? Here's some cilantro, which I've had to cut down four or five times. It just keeps growing right up into the thing. I could move it, but there's no point. I don't use that much of it. And my little solar setup, which I'll get into in another time. It's not finished for now, anyway. And here's the fan I've been using all summer. I just tied it temporarily to the roof. Next year I'll have a more permanent solution. It runs off this little timer here that I got for $8 at the source, or Radio Shack, whichever you want to call it. And now I got uh, some sweet corn here. It didn't grow very tall. The stuff outside didn't either, but this stuff produced silks first, and I've been... Uh, there they are right there, you can see them. And I've just been giving it a little shake every now and then to get the pollen to fall off onto the silks. And I'm hoping I'll get corn from it by the end of the season. Uh, here's the tomato coming up right here. Um, I've had some problems with this tomato all year, and I think I know why. I just planted it in potting soil. I didn't mix compost with it or anything like I should have. So i got some blossom end rot, which I've been putting calcium on every Wednesday, but uh, it is producing a little bit. I'm going to get a few tomatoes off of it this year. Here's my favorite plant, the watermelon. It's all almost ready, I think. I'm going to eat that thing in a couple days. I can't wait. I'll do a video on it to tell you how if it was good or not. And the uh, cantaloupes here, they're doing quite well, the Minnesota Midget Melons. The plant seems to be dying off a bit, but I got three good melons off of it, and looks like they're almost ready too. So hopefully I'll have them in a few days. And the cucumber I planted towards the end of June. We've got a couple cucumbers off of it already, a couple big ones. We've got four more on there. It's just going to keep going for now. Uh, the gladiolas, some of the blooms have started to fall off, but a second branch on that one actually came out. And this one's about to bloom any day now. So I'm excited to see what color it is. I don't know if it's the same color as the other one. I ordered it from the same place, but who knows. And here's the lettuce I planted for the fall garden. It hasn't sprouted yet, but any day it should. Uh, this is another chili grande, just like the one up above. It does. It's been doing good. We've been getting quite a few off there. It's got a bunch ready to go. And here's another intruder pepper. I was going to save this one over the winter, but I think it might have spider mites in. I moved it the other day, and there's a lot of little bugs in the bottom, so I won't be doing that. Uh, here are the marigolds that I've been saving seed from. And I'm going to try maybe to sell some seed from that over the winter to try to recoup some of the cost of the greenhouse. And then this iris here it has been doing really well in here. Those buckets, I actually bought lids for them today, and I'm going to paint them black and put them in the fall garden full of water with uh, the plants to keep them warmer at night. And this little heater I've just got in here because of the peppers and the watermelon. Uh, once they're out of here, I'll take it out and just let everything go normally. But it's just on one, and it keeps the whole place warm to about 15 Celsius. Before I go, I just wanted to point out that the tarp wasn't the greatest idea for putting in the uh, putting in the floor because this quackgrass just came up through. I got to remove everything and take it out before I'm going to put down some cardboard. But uh, yeah, if you liked the video, subscribe, and I'll make sure to make some more. See ya.